Hi, Chester. This video is going to show how to assign a clown pass to the whole scene at once um, so you can use it for your paintings. Um, so for anyone who's watching that doesn't know this technique, you, I guess you, you can do block out models and kind of really rough models and use those as help to mask out stuff for your, your paintings. So that's a nice way to work. And anyway, let's get into it. So this, um, we're going to go into this scene tab here. And um, under the material, there's a, a, a little button here. And we can pick any of these materials. And w when we assign a material here to the entire scene, this one material will override everything else. So everything will be this one floor material. And let me just make sure that I have some lights in here. Oops. Yeah, OK, all right, good to go. So now if I try to render, let me bring this down to like 25% size. And then I'll bring the samples down to like 10 samples just to make it really quick and then render. And all right, so the whole scene has this one floor material here. So actually, let me get rid of this. I was doing this before. So I'm going to make a new material here um, by hitting Shift V. And this is our um, special little heavy poly materials menu. And the link for this will be in the video. Or if you're watching this, you probably already know where this is. But um, yeah, I'll have a link somewhere. Anyway, you go new material. And then let's call this new one clown. Uh, yeah, clown. OK, so let's assign in the scene tab the clown material to the entire scene. And um, oh, yeah, let me hit use nodes here just to make sure. And let's just make this red or something and test that out real quick. OK, good. So now let's go into the node editor by switching our little icon here from the 3D view to the node editor. And here is our little clown pass. I'll hit N to close this little side panel. And then Shift A will bring up a little add menu. And I'll search for, where is it? Um, geometry. Sorry, no, search for object, OBJ. OK, so this is a great little node that gives us the ability to mask off different objects. So let's hit Shift A again. And I want to search for color ramp. OK, so I'll just arrange these. And I'll connect random into here and color into color. And actually, let me switch this. So uh, here, I'll delete this. Shift A, search e <coughs> EM for emission. Plug that into color and emission. So emission is just like a light material. So this will be totally flat, no, no shading information on this. Um, all right, so now if we run it again, let's hit render. So now you can see, all right, we're getting different colors for each. Um, object here, which is cool. But we can also go here and change the color by just grabbing these little arrows. You can hit the plus thing and drag these around. OK, and then let's go render. And the nice thing about this clown pass is that it's, it'll render really fast because it's emission. So we can bring that up to 100%. And this will render pretty fast. OK, so that's one way to do it. Um, that might may or may not be useful. I, I usually don't use this because I want to have the materials instead. So I guess the way you've been doing it, Chester, is probably best where you um, go into each different material, and you'd have to go in and say, search and add an emission. So we're basically just manually controlling this like that. I mean, we could. Mm, I wonder if we could go here. Ah, no, never mind. Yeah, so we have to go in here and go emission.
for each one and make a different color, which is a little bit annoying, but not as annoying as the other ways that Blender offers us currently. So there's no real great way to do this. Um, so I don't even know if there's any point of showing the other way. But uh, So if we render this, hopefully we'll get, oops. Oh, in this case, I want to turn off the, the scene material. So we can get rid of that by hitting the X and render again. But but anyway, that scene, that little scene material thing is, is handy for troubleshooting stuff or if you want to do like a clay pass or something. But this is neat too. Um, the other way we can do this that's a bit more cumbersome, I think, um, is we can go to here, back to the scene tab, and then in passes, there's a material index. So we just got to check that on. And now, ugh, the other annoying thing is that, okay, every material here in Blender has an index buried in this little settings tab here. So here's the pass index. This one is at zero. If I switch, let's say I switch to a different material here. This one is also at zero. This one is also at zero. So, I mean, they would want you to go in here and select every single one and pick a different slot. But, you know, this is okay for if you have five materials or something, but if you have a hundred or a thousand materials, that's not going to cut it. So I have a little magical script here. So this video is getting a little bit deeper than it should be, especially for something this simple. But in Blender, there's there's no way to do this yet. So this is one way to do it. We, we'd have to set a variable of 0. So this is the Python console where we can do little Python scripts. And um, if you if you never use Python, it's it's kind of neat. You can you can make Blender automate things for you and do little batch things like this. So I'm going to make a little Python script that go, runs through every material and sets a different pass index. So this x represents the pass index number. So right now I'm saying Python make it zero, and then after that we're going to say for every material in the list of materials. This bpy.data.materials is just a command that tells Blender to bring up a list of all of our materials in the scene. So every material, every mat in materials, I want you to run a command for every mat in materials. So enter. And now it indent, indents, and which means it's waiting for that command that you want to run for each material. And so now we got to go x equals x plus 1. So what that does is it's going to add 1 for each um, iteration, or for each loop, it's going to add 1. So it's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, blah, blah, blah. And then the last step is to set the pass index of each material. So um, fuck, I seem to have deleted that command. God damn it. So let me try to find it like this. And then I can just type this in here. There we go. So now we can see this is now 5. This is 11. This is 8. So they're all different. Ah, uh, God. OK. All right. So let's go back here to uh, render. And now we should get all those passes out. Oh, oh, blender, blender, blender. So at this point, we got to do more stuff. We're going to go in here and change this back to node editor, back to our familiar friend, and then switch to this one here. Grab all of these. And now our render has an in index slot, which is the one that we added here, material index, index MA. Now we got to go shift A uh, and search for, um, what's it called, ID mask. Plug that in here. 
shift a oops shift a v i w e w viewer oh god and then and then there it is so now we can switch to different passes oh damn it okay zoom out of this crap there we go yeah it's not really nice but it's there if you really need it then you can save out these images okay um i'm tired so i uh, hope that was helpful <laughs>